a very good morning my dear students hope you all are fit and fine at your home my dear students do you remember what we have done in our last class we have learned about a very happy child who was always happy right so what was the name of the chapter the happy child so my dear students i asked you all to do an action with your family members do you remember that if you are happy and you know it clap your hands yes i hope you all have done that with actions and also engaged your parents right so my dear students i welcome you for the new day with a new chapter and the chapter that we are going to do is from our english workbook and what is that that is module 3 right so how many sections we have in this module we are having four sections yes the first section we will be doing is i listen where we have what dictation right the second is the vocabulary where we will write where we will learn opposites and also sort colors and things so there will be more to section that is the grammar section and the i right so that we are going to do in our next class for today's class we will be just focusing on this two sections right so as i asked you all that we have done a very beautiful chapter in our last class yes so what we are going to do that in the i listen section we are going to write down few words that are already there right what you have to do you have to only press that so let's see what are the words given for us let's begin so my dear students please come to page number 18 i'll be just reading out the words and you have to write down that right as i told the words are already there what you have to do you have to trace it with beautiful and write it so what is the first word here the first word is sing s i n g when we sing when we are happy right okay so the second word is child c h i l d child got it come to number 3 word it is tree t r double e i have a green green tree right yes okay come to the fourth word it is house h o u s e so do, do you remember what type of house it was that the child was staying it was a small red house correct okay come to the fifth word w a s h wash what you need to do now it is you we need to wash our hand regularly very often do you remember this word often o f t e n it was in the poem yes so we need to wash our hand very often got it come to the sixth word it's a very nice word we always do that right it's a very nice action what is this l a u g h laugh how we laugh ha 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 right okay come to the seventh word now it is c a w -L, l call yes when you need something you need you call your mama mama can i get a glass of water right okay so come to the eighth word the last word what it is it is under u n d e r under right who sits under the tree the child sits under the tree when hard play is done correct okay so my dear students what we will do now we will come to our second section that is vocabulary right so what is vocabulary vocabulary means to know more or learn more about words we have done this earlier do you remember this so what words we are going to learn today we are going to learn about 
opposites. Okay, so what are opposites now? Opposites are words that have completely different or reverse meaning. Yes, which are completely different or reverse. So let's see a few examples. Okay, like boy, girl. So what is the opposite of boy? It's a girl. Right? Father. Opposite of father is a mother. Right? Day. Night. Open. Close. Tall. Short. Happy. Sad. Big. Small. So these are few opposites that I have given, right? So my dear students, what we have to do now? We have to find out few more opposites in our exercise. My dear students, do you know opposite 2 has a opposite? Do you know that? So what is the opposite of opposite? Same. Yes, like opposite also has one more term. Like antonyms. Okay, so opposites are also known as antonyms. So what is the opposite of antonyms? The opposite of antonyms are synonyms. Synonyms means same meaning. Right? Like I told, opposite also has a opposite. What it is? Same. Yes? Like antonyms, synonyms. So these two new words we got, right? Antonyms means opposite, synonyms means same. Got it? Clear? Okay. So let's move to the exercise now. Yes? So what exercise we have? Exercise 2.1. Please turn to page number 19. So what is the question here? Write the opposites for given words. Choose from the word given below. So we, we are having here how many words? Four. Yes, what we need to do? We need to choose the correct opposite and we have to write down. Right? So the first one is happy. So what is the opposite of happy? What is it? Sad. Right? So, the opposite of happy is sad. The second one is little. What is the opposite of little? I have a little red house. So, what is the opposite of little? B. Yes? So, opposite of little is B. Come to the third word. Laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Yes? We laugh when we are very Happy, yes. So what is the opposite of love? Cry when we shed our tears is cry. Yes? Okay. So now the fourth word is day. What is the opposite of day? We all know in the morning we always say good morning mama. Yes? And what is the opposite of day now? It's night. N I G H T. Like every day while going to sleep before that. What you say? Good night, mama. Good night, papa. Yes? Okay, so these are the opposites that we have learned today. Yes? So we have one more exercise now. And for that we have to turn to page number 20. Come to page number 20 and let's see what we have in that page. So, in here we have sort colors and things. So, we have to sort out colors and things. Right? So, in here two columns are given. Before that, let's see what is the question. Sort the given words into colors and things. So, two columns are there. One for colors and one for things. Four words are given as options. We need to sort out that. So the words are house, blue, yellow, swing. So in colors, what are the colors? 
the first color is blue b l u e blue right so what is the next color can you tell me what color of dress am i wearing today it's a yellow and look we have the yellow word here right so what is the second color second color here yellow y e double l o w yellow yes so now let's find out the things so the first thing is house h o u s e house yes so what is the second thing now the second thing is swing s w i n g yes so we all love to swing in a swing right okay so the second word is swing s w i n g got it i hope vocabulary as well as the colors all are sorted out yes hope you have understood it well so my dear student it's time to wrap up now so what we have learned we have learned about the word dictation from our last chapter the happy child and also we have learned about the new vocabularies that we have in our book it was the opposites yes we have learned about opposites and also we have done the sorting of colors and things so that's all for today see you all in the next class thank you